This Marquee Dragon video is sponsored by Shattered Crystal, game codes and items. Hello, I'm Marquee Dragon, and uh, we're at PAX today, and again, I'm talking to Brian Knox. Now, I know I got his name right from this time, because of you guys that watched the video last time, you tell about how badly I screwed it up. Yeah, well, I worked really hard on it, I studied, and we're going to get it right this time. So, Brian is showing us the game of, of Terra. Yes. And we had to go do this other video right away, because I saw the game after our last interview, and I was like, holy cow! It, it looks gorgeous. Yeah. It's amazing. It's unbelievable looking. I, I, I was very surprised. And it's generally the response that people are walking by, they're stopping to see the movie, then we're directing them to play, and then they're standing in line for our VIP demo. So mm -hmm. it's been a nice little like waterfall effect. Yeah. So now you said that, that it plays a lot like a console in yes. our last thing. And look at that. You got an Xbox controller. What's up with that? So, you know, you plug it in the Xbox controller and it's got to work with Terra. So the one thing we've focused on, though, is it's still a PC game. So mouse and keyboard, still great to play, but sometimes you're lounging around the house, you want to sit on your couch at your media center, pick up the controller, you can hunt, jump. I got like an eight foot wide screen, TV screen at home. There you go. That, uh, you know, There's nothing better than that. Sit on the couch and play. So now, what are you doing here? What, what, what is so, this guy? So you'll notice right away I've got a targeting reticle. It's very similar to a first person shooter. So I'm having to move, get out of the way, see how he just did that tell, oh, he yeah. rears back, if I don't move, which I didn't there, he's going to hit me. So there, I'm out I of the way. I can totally see how the controller could make a difference oh. with that. And there, I tried to dodge, but I didn't make it in time. Dude, so. you're getting your ass kicked. I know, it's not the greatest right now. There, <laughs> I missed it again. So I'm on camera and playing at the same time. That's a very big talent that I have. <laughs> Yeah, well, you're, uh... So that spell right there is really cool because it goes and continues through monsters. So it killed oh, that guy and yeah. still hit the other one right there. So I keep moving out of the I way. I like the dynamics of this with a camera view. Yep. And uh, see, and then I got knocked down. I should have a jump up skill, but I don't have it mapped right. right. There we go. So then I can pick up my loot, kind of go on my way, slaughter more innocent foes on my way to quest through the story of Terra. This is just beautiful looking. Yes, and it, it would look great on your eight-foot wide TV. Yeah, I think so. Um, so, uh, are you playing this at like um, 1920 by 1080? Like yes. 1080p. Yes, 1080p. And uh, do you have some monster machine underneath here? Uh, you know, I think it's it... a pretty reasonable machine. It is a newer machine. You know, we want to look our best here. Mm -hmm. But it's an Unreal 3 engine, which okay. actually scales really well. Yes. Uh, you know, games go way back to you know Gears of War, Mass Effect. All of those games used it. So we think. It's going to work on a wide variety of machines. Cool. Yeah. So, uh, oh, okay, so this is our inventory. Yeah, so you'll notice right here that you have different slots. One of the big feedbacks from this build was they wanted more slots, so we actually added two more slots in recent versions. So you're going to have more items to collect. You have all your different crystals you know, that you can slot in. is sometimes better than having. Right. <laughs> <laughs> can't give everybody everything they want, but we do our best. Yeah. So that's the inventory. You got the map. Kind of shows where we're at, the different kind of checkpoints. Uh, the entire world will show yeah, you. Yeah, how big is the world? So this is the entire world. So this is about three to four hours of content here, and so it's just huge. So, so for those, for tons and tons of played zones. World of Warcraft. Yes. Uh, in, in terms of land mass, how would it compare? You have played WoW, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. I figured you had. Okay. So I'm trying to think. So WoW's been through two expansions now, heading to their third. Mm -hmm. I think that we're probably one expansion in in terms of landmass size of theirs. Okay. So bigger than their original one. But I don't know if we're quite. It's hard to measure, right? It's all right. Oh, I know. Digital I know. things. How but, many football fields but it's, can you fit it's, in the game? It's quite large. <laughs> quite large. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, okay, now. The, the different areas, the different, um, is there a different theme to each area? Yeah, so um, every everything's going to have a different zone, and our writer team is really cool because they're actually working with the developers to develop the individual storyline storylines of each zone, and as the pro user progresses through the zone, they'll get a higher telling story as well, which is the battle with the Argons and your place within the Valkyan Federation, which is the, you know, the alliance against the evil Argons. So what are these creatures called, do you know? Uh, I'm not sure what these are. Is this a newbie area? Let's see, level 16. Uh, level 16, so, so that's kind yeah, of you're a few hours into the game at yeah. this point. Yeah. Now I can see all the keys here. Yes. And so you got all those keys mapped. <laughs> can you use the controller at the same time you're using the keyboard? Yes. So you can choose to do whatever you wish. Okay. So uh, and that's kind of the way we envisioned the controller. We didn't want the controller to replace this. Right. We wanted it to supplement. To complement. Yes, exactly. Yes. Definitely. And you can see there's all our different skills right here. You'll get more skills as you level up. 
But skills in Terra are very complicated because we are doing collision based, you know, where you hit and all that kind of stuff. So there's a lot of time it goes into making a skill. And so you really gotta fine tune every single one, even more so than if you had like a targeting based game. And we also wanted to keep it to where the user's actions were defining things. They're not just mashing the same awesome skill over and over. All right, so show me something new. Show you something new. Yeah. Well, you, I think one of the cool have GM powers to warp us someplace. Ah, uh, that's in the VIP demo area that you said you didn't have time for. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so I know sad. we're out on the consumer demo version. Yes. Huh? Yes. Okay. So, and that's fine because that, that's the experience that that players are going to actually have. Well, actually, we're we're letting community Although members did, and players did, go I in. I want to see the code that you type in for the God mode. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never know. <laughs> So now, is this a building down here? It, it looks like it's a barricade with the, some other monsters there. Somebody run over there. <laughs> what is that little thing she's got floating around? So her? that's her disc. All sorcerers use a disc that they okay. kind of twirl about them to generate their magic. And we got more of these little creatures. Yeah, okay. so Terra's got a lot of little creatures too. They mm -hmm. kind of swarm all about you. Yeah. See, I think these are a little bit lower level than me, so I might kill them pretty easily. Oops. No, so, and what we'll do, uh, since I know we don't have a whole lot of time for, for this, uh, for showing this, right. is that uh, we'll actually, after this interview, right immediately after, we'll continue on with some other video that uh, you guys were good enough to provide us, yeah, yeah. Uh, showing some of the other stuff in the game. Yep, we so, got a lot of cool video for you to see. Yeah. Um, I was really impressed, and, um, and, I, and I'm hoping that uh, maybe I'll get an invite to like the friends and family beta or something like that. If you're lucky. If I'm lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Only if I'm good. Yep. Okay, Brian, thank, thank you very you. much. Appreciate I appreciate it. taking the time again. Uh -huh. And uh, I'll see you at the next convention. Yep, I'm sure you will. <laughs> okay, everybody, take care.